NASA's replacement for the retired space shuttle will take humans farther than ever before, period. The space launch system, <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, or SLS, will travel to asteroids and eventually to Mars. Vicente Arenas met a 13-year-old from Baton Rouge who is already preparing herself for a seat on that mission. Ten, nine. The journey to Mars begins in the bayou. Just outside New Orleans, this is NASA's rocket factory, where they're working on what will be the most powerful rocket ever built. Do you get excited when you see things like this? I do because I see that there are people who are working very hard to make my dream a reality. If you can't tell by her flight suit, 13-year-old Alyssa Carson's dream is to become an astronaut, a dream that she's had since the age of three. I heard that humans have been to the moon, but no one had been to Mars. I said, oh, I'm not, that's what I want to do. No one's <laughs> been there. That's something that has never been done before. Daddy, I want to be an astronaut. And you think, OK, yeah, astronaut, fireman, policeman, you know, whatever, baby. You can be anything you want to be. This is Alyssa's dad, Bert. I walked in on her in her bedroom, and she's sitting with a Mars map that I'd given her. Or, or bought for her at the store. How old was she? Probably around five or six. And I walk in and I said, baby, what are you doing? And she said, well, daddy, when we get to Mars, I need to know where we are. So when she turned seven, Bert signed Alyssa up for space camp. I learned everything about space history, everything about NASA was doing then, everything about Mars that I wanted to know, including all the other planets. And it was pretty much like the best long weekend of my life. Alyssa has been to over 20 sessions of NASA space camp. She's attended three space shuttle launches. She rubs shoulders with NASA Administrator Charles Bolden. And, oh yeah, she speaks four languages. ¿Hablas español? Sí. Un poquito mucho. Mucho. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Y no tienes miedo de ir a Marte? No, yo no tengo miedo porque es Marte y es mi sueño. Alyssa is a focused and determined individual. She came here with a goal. She's been working on that goal day after day, year after year. Dr. Deborah Barnhart runs the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and has been following Alyssa since her early days at space camp. Her persistence is the difference, I believe, that separates her from others who would like to be astronauts and who would like to go to Mars and those who are preparing to go. I am already looking at colleges and what I want to study. And so instead of doing like geology or biology, I'm planning on doing both. But that's to... how far from now? That's like what, five or six years yeah. from now before you even go to college and you're thinking about this already? Right, I pretty much have uh, the next 20 years of my life kind of years. planned. How, how is that possible? I didn't push her into this, she's pulled me in. I now know more about space and NASA <laughs> and you know all this stuff than I thought I would ever know. A big sacrifice in your part. But it's a sacrifice I don't mind. I mean, if, if you see the passion and the desire that she has in her eyes and her heart, you have to be there for her. You can't not want to support her. NASA hopes to launch a human mission to Mars around 2030, when Alyssa will be 29. Have you thought about what your first words will be when you step onto that soil? See, I've been asked that a lot, but I just don't know what it is yet. I still, that's something I still have to think about. While Alyssa continues her small steps towards a red planet, she still has plenty of time to write the perfect tagline for the next giant leap for mankind. For CBS This Morning, Vicente Arenas, New Orleans. You know, it's so great to see somebody find a passion like that so early in life because they can spend so much time adding to I absolutely the development love it. of it. What a great story.